Um, we as AWS have a tool called CloudTrail, also mentioned twice um, today. Um, but I think this is, this is very important because CloudTrail is not um, monitoring some kind of system logs, but actually it's, a, it's monitoring API calls. So everything what happens with data in AWS is always an API call. So if you store your data, files, or whatever in, in, uh, in S3, so the, the, this, uh, the, this, the, the storage um, service, um, and this data is accessed, or this data is removed, or anything happens with this file or with this data, this is always an API call. As well, everything what happens in, in, in databases, that's always an API call. And CrowdTrail is actually um, logging all this information, and then you can use these logs and get basically in real time meaningful information out of this. And I think this is then actually really complying um, um, or helping to comply with the requirements of Article um, uh, 30. And I think a solution like, like this makes it much more easier to comply with the regulation because, as said, CloudTrail is across all our services, so you, you, we are not working in, in silos, so that CloudTrail, for example, is, is available for the one service but not for the other service. So if you are thinking about moving workloads um, to the cloud, to AWS, I think especially in the area of um, um, access monitoring and processing monitoring, CloudTrail is helping a lot. Um, there's another tool called Amazon Guard Duty. Very important, there are more tools. I'm, I'm just picking out some of them. Um, Guard Duty is, is a tool which is um, helping to uh, detect threats. Um, so this is more in the area of unauthorized um, um, access to, to, to data, um, a tool which is also implemented deeply in our services. So it's not much effort to configure it. It's basically turning it on. And then Guard Duty is, um, is analyzing or uh, monitoring your environment, so your resources on AWS on, uh, on threats. And of course, you can define alarms, etc. Of course, you can get those data from CloudTrail, but as well from Guard Duty um, out of the AWS platform. If you are planning to, to use another monitoring system or you have your own security incident management system, so you can get all this data and feed them in there. But of course, there are tools also available to do the monitoring and get the alerts. <coughs> 